And they're saying, you can do like this, but if you fly these machines, it will disturb the ether in the planet. There is an inscription in Hale Kannada, that means the old type of Kannada, which is over three thousand years old. There's an inscription talking about how to design an airplane in a temple. And they're saying, you can do like this, but if you fly these machines, it will disturb the ether in the planet. You know, there's a temple in Karnataka, in southern India, uh, which is called the Annapurneshwari temple. Anybody from Karnataka? You been to Annapurneshwari? So, at the rear part of the temple where most people may not go, because I am always poking into nooks and corners, others are all happy looking at the goddess. Uh, there is an inscription in Hale Kannada, that means the old type of Kannada, which is over three thousand years old. There's an inscription talking about how to design an airplane in a temple. And they're saying, you can do like this, but if you fly these machines, it will disturb the ether in the planet. If it disturbs the akasha, when they say akasha, don't think space. When they… they're saying if you disturb the akasha, then human beings will not know peace in their life. Once akasha is disturbed, then psychological disturbances will become enormous. I think you are a living proof. I think there was an old movie by Manoj Kumar which said, sure, airplanes and airplanes and you know, the disturbance that it's causing and he's glad his ears went away one day. Something like that, yes? So, if we suck out the akasha, this physical body will not exist for a moment. So when we say akasha, we are still talking about five elements. As you yourself in the question you mentioned, among the five elements, akash is one. So when we say elements, we are not talking about empty space. We are talking about one more substance, like earth, like water, like air, like fire. We are talking about one more aspect of five elements. So do not mistake akash for empty space.